even a worm will turn. William confronts Harry for future role, boundless fight once again break out. Prince William has had to adapt his relationship with the public and the media much more than Prince Harry did to reflect his future position as king, a royal commentator claimed. Prince William and Prince Harry's relationship with the press was the subject of the BBC's latest documentary The Princes and the Press. Both the Duke of Cambridge and the Duke of Sussex have had a difficult pact with the media due to the pressure they both faced as leading members of the royal family. But contrary to Prince Harry, Prince William has had to maintain a close relationship with the press because of his future position as king, royal commentator Roberta Fiorita claimed. The royally obsessed presenter said, I think, looking at the fact that, examining their different futures, like the air and the spare dynamic, William has to have this relationship. Like he said on the Pakistan tour, when he met the press on the plane, he was like, consider this a group hug. When Harry met the press on the plane during the Africa tour, it was, thank you for coming guys, not that you were invited. The ricochet effect of those reactions. And that's the part I think that was so perplexing. We know some of this, we're not naive. Sky's royal correspondent Rhiannon Mills told the BBC the reaction she received from both brothers on their most recent tours abroad was especially telling of the very different strategy William and Harry adopted when dealing with the press. The royal expert then compared Prince William's more welcoming stance to the dismissal she received from Prince Harry when she tried to ask him a question about his meeting with local organizations in Malawi. Ms Mills continued, he doesn't stop and give me a full interview but he acknowledges me or whatever. This one played out quite differently. Recently, Prince William was initially wary of Prince Harry releasing a rare statement about then-girlfriend Meghan Markle. The claim was made by best-selling author Christopher Anderson in his new book titled Brothers and Wives, Inside the Private Lives of William, Kate, Harry, and Meghan. In it, Anderson described how William who is second in line to the throne, was hesitant about his younger brother telling the press to back off in 2016 when his relationship with the American actress became public. In it, the 37-year-old said he was worried about the star's safety since she has been subjected to a wave of abuse and harassment. It's interesting to see the differences between the way William and Harry handle the press, Anderson told Fox News. Harry was the one who went to William during his six-week breakup with Kate Middleton, before they married, and said, What are you doing? Are you crazy? Go back. And he did. It took ten years, but Kate landed her prince and they are a great match. But Harry's relationship with Meghan was a whirlwind romance, he shared. William, who has always been cautious, was the one who said, Wait a minute, take it easy. Don't rush things. There's a scene in the book where Harry says, Who the hell do you think you are? He was furious. Anderson alleged that while William supported Harry in issuing the statement, he did so reluctantly. He explained that there has long been resistance within the palace to take a public stand in such matters. However, William understood that Harry simply wanted to protect his new love from the ruthless paparazzi. Besides, Anderson claimed that Harry's father, Prince Charles, was furious over Megxit. In a televised interview with Oprah Winfrey in March of that year, Harry admitted that his relationship with Charles, 73, had ruptured. Charles plans to streamline the monarchy when he becomes king, Anderson explained. He's going to be kicking some minor royals off the payroll. It's my understanding that Harry and Meghan were supposed to be part of this core group that would carry the monarchy forward into the 21st century but Prince Harry decided he really isn't interested in that. Charles will probably not give royal titles to, his grandchildren, Archie and Lily, he continued. That's unfortunate because I think this is one of the things that really wounded Meghan Markle, to see that their cousins, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, are all princes and princesses, but not her children. I think that confused her. I don't think they're going to get any titles at all which will be even more hurtful as we go down the road.